Hey, hallelujah. Praise the Lord, man. It is just amazing looking at Jesus on the cross and what he accomplished on that cross for me. It is just building up my faith. I don't know about you, but my faith is just growing. I am, it is just bubbling within me, just feeling the joy of the Lord when I look at the blessings that come through the death of Jesus on the cross for me. We said number one, the death of Jesus Christ brought us benefit number one, expiation, removal of sin, its guilt, and its shame. Number two, propitiation, removal of the wrath of God. Sin, bringing guilt and shame, invites the wrath. The death of Jesus, number one, in expiation, removed sin, its guilt, and its shame. But it also went ahead and removed the wrath, which is the consequence of the sin we had committed. Number two, number three today, I want us to look at the next thing that the death of Jesus accomplished, and we call it reconciliation. Reconciliation. Whereas expiation refers to the removal of our sins, our shame, and our guilt, and propitiation refers to the removal of God's wrath, reconciliation refers to the removal of our alienation from God, our enmity from God. So, in reconciliation, look here, sin has been forgiven Guilt has been removed. Shame has been removed. The wrath has been removed. We now have favor. And because we have favor, the enmity that was between us, between you and God, is removed. The Bible says, uh, God says that it's not, not that he, his ears cannot hear your cry, not that his eye cannot see your problems, and not that his hand is too short to deliver you. But there is something that has built a barrier between you and God. And that thing is called sin. So God cannot see you because of your sin. But in reconciliation, this sin that has, the sin that has built this barrier called enmity is removed. And as it is removed, you and I have access to God. And God has access to us because the enmity has been removed. The, it is like the veil in the temple has been torn. Now you and I can go into the Holy of Holies and God can come and be with us and commune with us. It just tells me that it is like a restoration of the experience that God and Adam and Eve had before sin was. You remember the Bible says God could come and have communion with Adam and Eve in the cool of the day. And this is exactly what happens. Right now, there is a, a two-way traffic. God is able to come to us and we are able to go to him. That is simply put, there is communion now. Enmity has been removed by the cross of Calvary. Now listen. Whereas expiation refers to the removal of our sins and, and propitiation refers to the removal of the wrath, of God, reconciliation first refers to the removal of our alienation from God. Because of our sins, we were alienated, meaning separated. There was enmity between us and God, so we were separated from God. Christ's death removed this alienation and thus reconciled us to God. We see this, for example, in Romans 5, uh, verse 10 and 11. For if while we were enemies, while we were enemies, we were reconciled to God through the death of his son, much more having been reconciled, we shall be saved by his life. We were reconciled by the death of Jesus Christ. The death of Jesus Christ broke the enmity destroyed the barrier of enmity that was between us and God. That separating thing. And that is why you don't require a priest to reach to God. Because the veil in the temple was torn. And now you are a royal priest of God. You belong into the kingdom of God. You have the access. 
into the very presence of God, access into the very holy of holies, where you can worship God and serve him and minister to him. You have no enmity with God. This day you can lift up your hands and worship him and praise him and magnify him. You can go to him for your needs and he will provide because there is no enmity between you and God. You know why? Look, sin, its guilt and its shame has been removed. The wrath that comes as a consequence of those sin has been removed. Look at that. Now we have been reconciled to God. You have been reconciled to God. Fully reconciled to God. You and God are one. There is peace between you and God. This is what you need. And it will help you a great deal, beloved. Understand this revelation. Know that you have access to God. Father, in Jesus' name, I pray the blessing of Calvary upon all my dear brothers and sisters listening to this broadcast, both now and in the future. I pray that God, you cause them to understand the mystery and the blessing of what the death of Jesus accomplished for us on Calvary. Let this message forever be nailed in our hearts and guide us and bring liberty for us to serve and walk before you with confidence in Jesus' name. Amen. This broadcast was brought to you by Angelos TV. To continue enjoying this spiritual nourishment, click on the subscribe button below. Click on the notification bell to become the first to know when we upload another video. Thank you and see you in our next broadcast.